The fisherman, abject but willing slave to his wife's ambition, demands the papacy for her delectation. Would that he have asked for her premature demise. Make it foul. And welcome back to American Media's Grim, the fisherman and his wife. I'm your I'm your ever so careful host, Genesis Zero Thirteen, but yeah, you people probably know this by now. At least I hope, maybe. Either way, now the now the crazy queen wants to become now that crazy wife wants to become the Pope. Maddening it, it is, I know. What are we going to do? Well, we really have no options in the matter. We're just going to well, agree to it and give her well her well rotten deserves. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot. This beginning part, there's not a whole lot you can actually convert to Bring darkness. Secret no more. Also, there is a secret. There is a second secret over there, which I guess I should try to risk to get over there. I think you need the house to do it properly. Watering frame, the worst kind. Or you can completely mess up like I do, because well, yes, I am not the best in platforming. I don't profess to say so, but. I figured I'd say it right now. I am completely garbage at platforming. Or, or when I'm about to jump, I just don't jump at all. Because, well, I run faster than I jump. Because, well, my brain. And yes, that is how it works, people. Alright. <laughs> Come on. Okay, good. Alright. Give me this shot. And if I don't make it, then I won't go for the secret. <laughs> Admittedly, I probably should have waited for it, maybe. Holy crap, I actually made it to this. I'm actually amazed by that. But I have been dull I am dallying. Yeah, you know what? I don't need that secret. <laughs> Let's just freaking move along, then. You know, I'll have to eventually come back here to convert, like, the rest of this stuff that I'm having to ignore, which now pains my heart greatly. Maybe not for long, because I can start converting a lot more things. There we go. That's more like it. See, things are already starting to look a bit more greasily, and, well, better. Who knows, maybe I'll eventually just have a better jump. I, we already got what we needed for that, and also it's starting to rain slightly in the game, which is very nice. It's a nice touch they add. I appreciate what they do. Hmm. Alright, so I'll just move on for now. I'll ignore that for the time being, because unfortunately, I have cleaners I have to deal with more importantly. Despite my liking to get stuff, I'd rather not have no horrible crab people getting in my way. Crabs. Like, there is nothing more that will ruin the fun than crabs just saying, No, you're not, you can't do this, Herp. Sorry, I can't let you do anything. Plus, I'll show them all by making myself all nasty and stuff. They'll regret the day. They eventually will. Uh, yeah, why not? I'm still here. It's only being taken long because I've been failing more. And we can just make the jump now, normally. So, surprise! I am getting the se I am getting the secret because well, secret found. We already were. We already had the jump, so. And I was already kind of in this direction anyway, just so I could finish off the last of this little beginning area, so don't worry. I won't be here forever. We're I've done everything that's back here, so we're leaving now. So good. In fact, if anything, I can just keep moving forward, which is amazing. I don't have to backtrack anymore in this level. 
Uh, I think it's a bonus. Which anyway, give anything gives us a platform. Sorry. But stomp it! I was in the middle of a jump, so that's why I unfortunately skipped what that what was that. But anyway, he's basically saying we wanted he wanted to make it nasty for us to convert the fish. We were already there, so well dirty we were, and thus he just wanted us to butt stop it. As he says. And also, what is over here, I wonder? This is death. Fair enough. Also, yep, he brings us up with blood. Also, yes, they totally say stuff like, Arg, I'm so, yar, I'm, I be dark. Or that I'm totally scaring their fish just by simply being there. Yes. Boil and bubble, toil and trouble. Convert this ore to trash and rubble. And with that, that was the end of scene four. We will continue, and we will continue onwards. And that is probably the worst time. We'll, probably, the, probably what not the longest we'll see in these, but we'll soon see. The fisherman's home has morphed into a church. Oh. If you believe in organized religion or a supreme being who cares about us, you might be moved. But as I don't, it's break down that door. Make it gross. So now we get to defile a church. Yay! <laughs> one of the few times I, I think I've ever... One of the few times I ever get to actually say that... Say that and sound very sincere about it. Also, very obvious secret. Completely and totally obvious. But yes, the church... But yes, now in the story, the fishman has granted... The fish has given the fishman his second wish, and well, has turned the castle he for his wife into a church, and has made his church his wife the queen, now the pope. That abuse of power can't go wrong. I think it could easily go wrong. Well, I'll show you very quickly how, it, how wrong it could go. First, let's just get rid of those two crabs, because... I don't need no cleaners here. Again, as per usual. Don't like the ruining my fun. I'm foul. Are close to in the mountains? Not yet. I don't think so. And yes, as as you'll probably always hear me, I love the thematic changes that go on through. Because again, as before, it's still the same thing, but you know, it's looking a bit more hellish for a church, eh? I think it's looking perfect. Oh no! First the castle, now the church, and the bitch still isn't satisfied. Now she wants to be God. If only she knew what a boring job he has, she'd think twice. We're in church. Where's the guilt, the sin, the wrath? Let's make it biblical. Make it disgusting. Hello, my name is Grim, and I'm going to show you how to defile a church. The best way, too, with blue lit candles, because yes. Blood coming out of your water? Hell yes. Demon, demon ephedries and like other assorted bad, bad things? But of course, why not? Secrets that are also on these like evil demon orifices? Yes. Yes, in fact they can be there. Stomp it! Pews that are kind of evil and well your altar boys turning into cult cult vaguely like either Spanish Inquisition or just like cult members? Yeah, that seems legit. Also your broken like also, very broken stained glass windows, yes, because it brings in like the natural lighting and gives the more sinister vibe of, ooh, I am super fucking evil. Also, because, yes, because we care. This is your new Pope, Pope Evil McEven, Miss Evil McEvenson. 
She will also eat your. She will also devour your puppies, and kick your and kick your orphan in the face. Anything else you would like me to say of what our wonder of what your wonderful new pope is in the land of Grim? <laughs> I think I've I think I've probably made my point across. So why don't we just finish it off and show what this vainglorious bitch who wants to become god now what she looks like as a pope. <laughs> Did I mention Grimm is kind of weird? <laughs> because, yeah, that happens. But even so, we will continue on with the final scene of where the fisherman tries to ask the fish to make his wife god. What happens? Well, you'll see. Oh, a climactic finale. I hope everyone dies in the end. The fisherman makes his final wish that his wife become unto god. I know where this is going, but I'll save the surprise. Make it nasty. Do it now. Now, if now, now if you were imagining rotten. that this was to take place in a whirlpool of all places, congratulations, you are psychic. If you didn't, well, then shame on you. This should have been completely obvious from the start, really. It is, admittedly, a little hard to maneuver around but you do have some places to look around for. Also get used to being turned, also get very much used to. I don't remember how to get over to those planks. I think I could just butt stomp them, I think, right? No, oh, well I can bump stomp, butt stomp that one, the other one I'll have to worry a little harder for. It. Also, it is a little hard to Darken a few things just for the fact that you are moving around a little more. You know, trying to the platform, so to say. Despite the pun. Okay, there. Oh. And then that basically happens. But yeah. Thankfully, it's very easy and quick to get your darkness meter up. Come on! No! No! Very slow sink. It's one of those that you wish you could avoid, but you see it anyway, and you're just like, no! So sad. I don't know. Quit crying, pirate man. You'll live. I mean, you can swim. You still have your hands, if anything. Oh, jeez, really? That's... That's amazing. The worst kind. I guess I'll have to raise my dark. I guess if you want to make that secret, you're gonna have to raise your darkness like a considerable amount, like probably past nasty, if anything. That makes sense. Also, there is floating pieces of debris and stuff up there. I should have pointed out. This is not only not only a normal tor your average tornado, but well, or whirlpool I should mention, but a tornado of all things as well. You know. I would have thought it was completely obvious, if anything. But stomp it! Also, it's now raining. I'm on top of that, so we now have a cataclysmic storm of epic proportions. Very fitting. And there's frogs jumping around and everything. Well, actually, no, that's just us. And I am a complete punce and didn't realize that I was moving around. But thankfully, we've made somewhat of a checkpoint, so... I can kind of maybe start converting a few things at a time. I wanted to get on that. I wanted to get on that box. That box. It looked. It looked so enticing. I, I was. I was wanting to believe in that box. The box lied to me and it made me sad. And there are cows actually. And there are mostly eating cows in the in the air. You are not seeing that wrong. I figured I should inline that. Come on. Okay, good. This actually might be my. Should be I'm hor- I'm hor- I hate myself. I wanted to get that secret maybe, but I'm just going to ignore it for now because I want to see what's over here before I do anything else, silly. Like, kind of view some of the sea life that's over here, including yet another secret. 
A secret no more. This is admittedly the easier one of the two. The other one is, well, that one on the island, which I need to figure out how to get over there. Or rather, I do know I think I have a good idea. It's just a matter of getting that practice to work, as well as getting that very lonely thing there. My sorrows, but this is ridiculous. Man, I am doing really horrible and awful today. I don't know why. I feel ashamed of myself because I can't make a single jump. Which is simple. And not only that, but doing a jump without really double jumping, which causes me to butt stomp into the water, which causes me to reset all my progress. So now, watering grave, the worst kind. <laughs> that makes me sad. Cause I try okay, one, two, three. Yeah, I should have just did that. I don't know why I wasn't able to do that. Alright, whatever. I'll accept my loss that I wasn't a not able to jump in time. Cause I got too excited, I guess. One, two, three! Okay, good. I want to get that thing converted. It bothers me that it's not converted that way. But that's neither here nor there. Let's worry first off about getting what we need, which is that secret over there. And my piss and Grim's piss goes in funky directions when it moves. Clandestine as a cockroach on toast. Unfortunately, there's not much else we can do, so I'm just gonna drop now, and hopefully it puts me back to the dock, which is actually the, uh, the shorter way of doing this. So with that said, with both secrets found, let's put an end to all of this. And see how our story is revised. Yes, yes, take that, you cursed she devil. Now you're living under God and you're liking it. <laughs> God lives like a peasant. God lives like a... Ah! And that's the holy end of that. And that was the f fisherman and his wife. I will let you all go for Grimm to give his spooky tale. And next time on American Bees Grimm, we will continue on with the next tale. What it is? Well, I'll let you guys find out when the time comes. Goodbye, everyone. The fisherman was a dim-witted and pliant tool of his insatiable wife, and his weak character invited disaster. Their downfall loomed one greedy want away, and we didn't have to wait long for the anvil to drop. Mopes got what they deserved, I say. The wife's taste ran to more anything. Food, money, stuff, whatever. The limp husband would do anything to appease her voracious appetite. Quinchable thirst. The moment he caught the magic flounder, it was enlisted in perpetual service to his wife's ruinous greed. Spare me, and I promise to make you happy. You'll have to do better than that. It's the missus you have to please. Anything less than riches will just piss her off. I might as well eat you now. Done. She's wealthy. And, um, could you stick a plaster on my jaw? Even more as dirt she takes her husband and her neighbors like dumb beasts. If you worship me as the goddess I am, you can live in these fine new houses. If you don't, you can die. Slowly. They thank you, your holiest, most revered, beneficent, and majestic one. <laughs> they are grateful. As am I. Besides chill blades, pimples, heretics, and stomach gas, talk is the thing most not worth having more of. She wants a cathedral this time, with accoutrements, she says, and she insists that she be pope. You're killing me with her constant demands. Better you than me. Would you mind removing the hook? from my eye. Smart. You've heard of the arbitrary and delicious nature of unintended consequences. Bet the new Pope hadn't. Or hubris. 
How about arrogance? Self-indulgence? Oh, never mind. This is good. <laughs> By nature. But this dunce has had more than his share of chances to redeem his stupidity. Perhaps if you made her like God, she could at last be happy. That's your idea of a solution to this problem? Well, I'm not surprised. But no doubt you will be. Shove what's left of my entrails back down my mouth and go home to your wife. You shall both have what you deserve. Ignorant to the very end, she believes the fates have conspired against her. She is a blameless, pathetic wretch. Fortune's fool, the plaything of wicked, unnatural forces. Never crossed her mind that her greed could be fed, but she could never be full. Those who expect a fair shake when they roll dice with enchanted fish are incurable optimists, unwitting masochists, or idiots. For this couple, I bet on the last. May all our stories end so well. Until next time.